second Java tutorial um, using NetBeans. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get user input from the user. Um, the first thing you want to do is start up NetBeans, which doesn't take a minute. Uh, yep, it just takes a few seconds to load up. And once loaded up, you want to go to File. You want to go New Project. Java, Java application, next. Call this user input, call it whatever you like though. Uh, create main class and set as main project. Finish. Um, this will create a default class for us that we can use. Um, first thing you want to do is we're going to be using the scanner class, so we need to import it to java.util.scanner. That's what we want. Um, it underlines it yellow because it's not hasn't been used yet. There's it's basically saying that n nothing in this package has been used uh, this class. So first we need to do is initiate a class of scanner. Um, it's worth saying there's several there's different ways to get use input. You can use a buffered reader, but we're going to be using a scanner. Um, so what we'll do is go scanner my scanner equals new scanner system dot in you need system dot in here otherwise it will not work um, there is um, a good thing about NetBeans that we don't actually need to import before we try and use a class I'll show you what I'll show you. Um, you can if you get rid of that and we just type that it would come up with an error and if we try to run it it, it would uh, crash saying it's got an error and it you see exception it cannot find the class basically because it hasn't been imported um, <coughs> but what you can do is if you ever see this and you can't remember what package it's from in NetBeans you can go and click in and go control shift I and, it'll ask, and it, it knows what class you're trying to use and you can just click OK and it will import it for you so it's pretty handy um right so the first thing we want to do is um we want to get user input now um in the last tool i literally just typed this uh console command so if we run this program now it should just print hello world because we haven't done anything with the scanner class uh, so if i run it hello world that's what it does. Uh, now what we want to do is, say we want to get the user's name. Um, what we could do is, we could go system.out.println and say, what is your name? And then, to get the user's name, we have to create a variable. So their name is going to be a string going to assume it's going to be a string and to get to get the line that they have just typed we would go my scanner dot next line so we go string um, name equals my scanner dot next line um, at the moment we wouldn't do anything because it would literally say what is your name and then it would let you input but you wouldn't see the input so what we can do is we can just print the name now that name is a variable so if we print name it should say what well wh whatever I type so if I go start it what is your name I type in Eddie Eddie it, it repeats what I say um, now to make it look a bit nicer what we can do is we can concate the string so we could say um, hello space name welcome to my program save that and run it what's your name Eddie hello Eddie welcome to my program you see um, and that's basically how you get user input and you can do quite a bit with this um, next line is used for strings 
uh, mainly its strengths. However, we can we could make a very very simple calculator. Um, so I could make a system out print len so calculator oh. adder because it's not going to do any cal it's just going to add up some so we could say what is the first number and because it's an integer we would say my scanner dot next int and then this needs to change, change to an integer int um, num1 um, and then we would need to ask for a second number as well what is the second number what I just did then was I copied and pasted that by the way um, what is the second number num2 next in. we don't have to make a new scanner for different um, inputs we can use the same scanner so you, you have to rename the variable though so if I put num1 there it would just overwrite what was in num1 so now we can then do a calculation on the numbers that are given to us and say um, int total equals num1 plus num2 and then we can echo it uh, well output it to the user and say total uh, plus total um, and that should output that should now be a very simple addition calculator so if we run it adder, what is the first number? Uh, one, second number? three, should be four total four, there you have it that is um, getting user input from um, and then using it in a Java program. So obviously, without any user input, program would be pretty static. But now, I did a lot of fu functionality to your program potentially. Um, I'll just show you what happens if I try and put in text. So, if I run the program now, it says, "What is the first number?" And I put in "Hello." it will just crash the program. Um, the way to avoid that happening is you need to throw a try and a catch. Um, I won't go into that in this tutorial because I think that's a bit um, further down the line, but you need to just be aware that if you put in this code and someone just put in a letter, it would crash the program. But apart from that, that's the... Uh, that's a very simple user input program. So, that's all. Goodbye.